Messbound Cup from Kaiser Power Electronics. This little project is one of those that I really want to do because I have so many parts as you saw in the isolation videos. So here I have two shields from a base station amplifier. I have a LED driver with associated six boards which has each five one watt LEDs on it. So this is a 30 watt LED street lamp. And I have a diffused piece of acrylic from a LCD monitor. My idea here is to take these two shields and to use them as a heatsink as they are have an even surface here on the inside. Maybe just polish that date down a bit. Then take a, a cut out in the middle here for the driver to pass all the way through. Mount the six light strips just like that. Have the driver sit a little to the one side here so I can have a 230 volt plug sitting in here. Then I would use a, a few standoffs um, and then mount perhaps a clear or this diffused plate uh, on top of it and just with some distance to have airflow. There's no need for me to seal this up and just watch it overheat. It is a Multic 5 watt PCBs. They also have some NTC uh, outputs here but the associated logic is missing on these boards so I guess that's not a option to use that. The driver is marked uh, with CTCO and is marked 2011 on the PCB down here. But on a sticker here on the heatsink we can barely see it's 2013 that it was tested. So this is actually built yeah, it's actually one year, 10 months between being PCB built and tested in this uh, street lamp. Now it uh, takes a 230 volt AC input, but also a bus connection. So there is a damping function or some timer function, but it is certainly does have a, uh, a bus connection to the driver. At the input side, we can see we have some resistors and uh, filters, um, inductor filters. Soldered up against the um, capacitor here, I do not like that. But other than that, we can see all components are secured with some kind of uh, glue. We have even decoupling capacitors sitting across the large electrolytic capacitors. And the ferrite transformer here is actually plenty big for a 30 watt driver. So this is a quality build. Now at the bottom side here, we can see that we have a of course, all the associated logic. I would guess we have maybe a few driver ICs or bus ICs here. We have the two MOSFETs for driving the transformer. And we have a Atmel OPVM360 and 168U. So I guess this is some kind of specialized Atmel microcontroller that is made for a PVM controller with some programmable memory for making your own program or bus interface. It is also formally coded, as we can see, it's all reflecting the light. So a, a good high quality uh, LED driver made for outside installations in a street lamp. With the slots made between the two pieces here, I can put the driver holder inside this piece of plastic. I'll just use this as this is a good way of just keeping it isolated from any metal parts. The power input plug will just be this small IEC. It can all also just barely uh, sit with its two screws here in the side. Then I also found some of these uh, small brackets that I saved from things I took apart. And I will use these at these uh, three points to keep the two parts together and then a piece of acrylic coming on top of it all will give uh, the whole chassis some more stiffness by tightening it out in the sides. Uh, probably also will make uh, some standoffs on the back side for the two here in the middle uh, to make some kind of uh, yeah, mounting bar on the back of it so I can actually put it on a flexible arm or something like that. The 230 volt AC plug is installed, the driver is in place. 
I drilled uh, some few extra holes in the metal parts to run some grounding wire on to keep everything grounded in order if we have a loose face we will get a short circuit to ground in order for the RCD in the main distribution panel to trip or the breaker to trip. Uh, I will add some uh, shrimp flux to the connections there. I'll have to extend some of the uh, original red and black wires here on the LED strips in order for them to be wide enough from each other. So let's get all this put together. To get the correct distance for the transformer to be underneath the acrylic piece of uh, shield here, I picked up two different steel resonators from filters from base station amplifiers, along with some long screws, but that gave me quite a big distance here around the edge where we have the mains voltage present. So I had to cut out these additional pieces from the acrylic piece here. Just made some M3 threads into it to uh, mount the sides here and I also added a little fuse holder just for safety's sake. So let's get this put together. For a mass up of a LCD screen, base station amplifiers and a street lamp I would say that the result is pretty good. All handmade, did not really use much uh, power tools except my drill press, mostly done by a battery drill and a handsaw, hacksaw, files, and really does show that you can build almost anything in a pretty simple workshop, as long as you just have some basic tools and know how to use them. And of course, a, no a lot of nice parts that you can rebuild, reuse, make new projects with. So let's see what it can do. Nice floodlight effect. And if we try to turn out the light on the ceiling. I would say it uh, does a pre pretty decent job. Looking back at the old pictures of the street lamp that I got this from, I can see that this was rated for a maximum of 42 watts, but that could just be the lamp fixture itself and not the LED driver and LEDs put into the unit. But I will finish this video off with the pictures of that street lamp that I found, and until next time, see ya!